The Marlins trying to avoid the sweep for the Giants at home. Tom Kohler on the mound for Miami. Top one, Hunter Pence steps in with a man on, and Pence goes deep to center field for a two-run bomb. It goes over the artwork, number 15 on the year for Pence. It's 2-0 San Francisco. Bottom three, the Marlins break through against Madison Bumgarner as Jeff Mathis goes deep to left field for his third home run of the year, and Miami's on the board. It's a 2-1 game. Bottom four now, the game is tied at two with Danny Echeverria at the plate, and he'll single past the diving Brandon Crawford. In to score is Ed Lucas, and Miami takes the lead at 3-2. Top five now, Pence at it again with two on and two down. He goes upstairs to rifle a single into right field. Gregor Blanco hustles home. He'll beat the throw from Giancarlo Stanton. We're tied at three, and Pence has driven in all three Giants runs to this point. Bottom five, Bumgarner in a jam, two on and two out for Miami, and the count is full to Justin Ruggiano. In the dirt, it kicks away. Solano around third. He's coming home. He's going to score. Donovan Solano running with the wild pitch from Bumgarner, and he takes two bases on the play. It's 4-3 Marlins. Top seven now, Mike Dunn on the mound for Miami, and he'll serve one up to Brandon Crawford, who goes deep to right field for his eighth home run of the year. We are all tied at four. And San Francisco is not done yet in the seventh, later in the frame, with a man on first and two down, Hector Sanchez, will rifle one down the left field line. That's his first double of the year. Pablo Sandoval hustling hard. He'll score all the way from first base. The Panda slides in safely, and the Giants are back in front five to four. Back come the Marlins, bottom seven, with Guillermo Moscoso on the mound. Donovan Solano goes into the gap in left center field. That's an RBI double. Christian Yelich comes in to score, and the Marlins tie the game at five. Bottom eight now, the Marlins threaten again, one on and one down with Sandy Rosario on the mound and Jeff Mathis at the plate. Mathis sends that one into left center. Torres dies, won't get it, it kicks away from him. Lucas is racing for third and they'll send him to the plate. Here he comes, he's gonna score. Mathis gets caught in a rundown for the second out of the frame, but his RBI double puts the Marlins in front 6-5. Top nine, Steve Ciszek on to close. Buster Posey at the plate. He entered the game in the eighth inning. And he'll ground one to shortstop for a game-ending 6-4-3 double play. The Marlins slip past the world champions. 6-5 is your final. Ciszek is now converted. 22 straight save chances as the Marlins avoid the sweep to the Giants. Chad Qualls gets the win in relief. The Marlins have not had a win from a starter since back on August 2nd. And Madison Bumgarner now winless in his four career starts against the Marlins.